World War II, but the alliances are completely different. We have a world map in 1939, but right now, nobody is allied to each other, which means there's a chance that France and the UK might not team up. Maybe Japan and China actually will. And finally, is it possible that we keep that all-too-cursed alliance between Nono Germany and the Soviet Union? And again, one of the reasons why I love the World War Simulator are the naval invasions. They get insane. We've unpaused the game, and there are already countries going after territorial holdings. And the first alliances are popular up we have Luxembourg and Nono Germany, meanwhile Yugoslavia and Albania. I'm definitely predicting there's going to be a fight between the UK and Denmark. Remember that Denmark controls Iceland and Greenland here. We also might see Brazil attack Liberia, little Liberia. This is also definitely a game where the strongest and most obscure nation could win. Of course, I'm not talking about Tanotuva at all. Everyone knows Tanotuva is the strongest nation on earth. Now, every World War II map likes to show Britain's power in different ways. This great British empire has a lot of Africa and and all of South Asia, as well as some parts over here, but they do not have Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Canada. Those nations are free to do whatever they want. So maybe France doesn't even really want an ally with, oh, the first war, the, the two, first two wars have popped up. It is the German Reich attacking the Netherlands. This should be pretty simple, especially because they have Luxembourg on their side. Also, the Winter War is taking place, except between Finland and Sweden. France, with the low blow, uh, they didn't ally to the UK, they allied to Ireland instead. It's like a punch in the gut. Look at these factions begin to form around the entire globe. This China Manchuku team could be pretty good to stop Japan. Okay, so apparently the German Reich Alliance or the Axis isn't called the Axis. It's actually the Order of Luxembourg. Luxembourg is completely evil, I think, in this universe. Maybe the skinny mustache man himself is leading this country. The First Nation has fallen. Ecuador conquered Colombia. Also, Estonia is on Finland's team. They're going to help out, I think, and attack Sweden next. The British are attacking their longtime friend, Portugal. Meanwhile, Sweden did fall to Finland, but you know what? Norway got a lot out of that. Also, the Finnish alliance is gone. Latvia captured that. It doesn't matter how much World War II changes, there will always be one constant, and that is Poland dying. Aw, oh, and they're getting help, the Soviets are, from the Lithuanians, their former friend. Well, wait a second. Poland does have Turkey on their side. There's also a very interesting alliance between France, Ireland, and Norway. Oh, and the lowland countries are gone. Poland is going to collapse, and I think Lithuania might get the most out of it. This might be the very first World War II simulator that actually has South America doing something. There's also a couple alliances here in the Americas as well. Well, this is a really odd group of friends for the Nono German German Reich, but um, yeah, they're clearly very, very strong. I don't know if they're going to be able to keep up with this France team, though. The UK and Portugal have peaced out. Also, Norway and Finland are getting into it, but it's just one on one. They didn't bring in their whole team. Hungary has joined what is known as Operation Serbia. What a name. Is it like to bring back the Austro Hungarian Empire in a way? And there you have it the fall of Poland. Literally no one is surprised. Is anyone even going to have a chance to catch up to the Soviet Union? Look how strong they are. Canada's second, the UK's third, the US is still way down below. I guess it all depends on the alliances that the Soviets get. Ooh, a little war between- wow, that was really fast. Uh, Iran declared war on Afghanistan, yet I think the British had already taken a lot out of them. Have fun occupying this territory. As history goes, this is usually not fun to conquer. Interesting how Japan has been doing literally nothing over here. Canada joined the Cuban alliance. Which with Haiti as well. Now, teams will break apart slowly over time. Sometimes they'll keep them alive, though. Norway has now killed Denmark. Oh, that means it's, there's a huge race for Greenland, and this is a lot of land. Norway's gonna get a little bit out of that. I didn't realize there was another path up this way. The UK's gonna get stuff. Canada's gonna get stuff. UK has expanded their territory in Central America. Also, there are a lot less nations around here. An alliance has formed up now between three Chinese factions. Also, this is Communist China, by the way. That's led by Mao Zedong. Insert your Dong joke there. Norway has completely wiped out all of Scandinavia, even obviously Finland, that's Nordic lands, and they're friends with France still, so this is, a, this is a strong team. But look at this team in South America, there's Brazil, Bolivia, and Ecuador, that is known as the Bolivian Union. Meanwhile, Argentina and Paraguay have got something going on. France is currently at war with Australia, Papua New Guinea, and this part of Asia, the southern part, I'm sorry, of China. That's an interesting way to expand your empire. Oh, I actually did not even realize France has the northern island of New Zealand. New Zealand is still here. Wait, how did you even get that. I'm just confused. The U.S., as they've always wanted, is going to take over Cuba with the help of the Bahamas, by the way. Mostly the Bahamas are doing stuff. Wait, no, the Bahamas have actually died. Now it's USA that's, like, taking the team on their back, I think. The Romanians are trying to shut down this little, uh, order, Serbian order. Whoa! 
and they're doing that. They did that way too easily. They might single-handedly wipe out everyone here. The remains are actually looking pretty powerful. We also have the Austrians fighting Italy. Oh, and France is fighting Italy. Wow, what are you doing here, Italy? The Romanians actually got wiped out. I think they just took out Yugoslavia, and they were like, our job here is done. Pretty thick Czechoslovakia. What are you going to do next here, uh, German Reich? Well, France is still fighting Italy. Italy is usually pretty safe on this peninsula, but maybe not. Ooh, the Soviet Union versus Iran. The U.S. had to actually peace out with Cuba, and they had to give up all of Florida. Okay, I need to stop making predictions because clearly I'm predicting really wrong. It looks like the USA even had trouble fighting off Mexico. I think they actually lost a little bit to Mexico. Italy is peaced out with Austria, but they haven't peaced out with France yet. I don't think France cares about this territory. They really want to expand their colonies in Africa. Oh, this might be it for the German Reich. The German Reich is not going to be able to stand up to the French alliance because Norway is so big. This is such a strong team. Also, they were the ones that declare that war. Luxembourg and Switzerland didn't even help out. Look at these alliances forming across the globe. This is such an interesting WW2. Oh, did the US uh, kind of get hurt by Canada? Because I, I forgot Canada and Cuba were in alliance. So we got to view France here. They're in third place. They might catch up to Canada, but they're going to need to get a lot of extra land. They probably need to go to war with Britain. Now the French even have Spain in their alliance. They just joined, I think this is called the, yeah, the Order of France. I think it's safe to say Spain's probably going to take out Portugal, or maybe not. I don't know. It's going to be close. They're, they're fighting a lot. Of, well, Portugal is, is going strong. Do they have any friends? Not really, but they do have this stuff down here. That is Portuguese territory in Africa. They're actually stealing a lot away. What just happened? Why did Liberia randomly get all... Wait, oh, is this a... Was this a civil war against France? This was a revolt against France. Liberia just got huge. I love that. And the UK has actually joined that old fallen Nono German alliance with Luxembourg and Switzerland. Spain actually... I need to not talk. I don't know what I'm talking about. Portugal now has their own Iberian Union. They wiped out Spain. They're actually taking a lot away from France. I think France might have got too big. Remember, they lost a bunch of territory to Liberia too. Oh, and Portugal and Liberia are teaming up. Portugal is actually going to wipe out Spain. I cannot believe this right now. Portugal has randomly just become, well, let's see how much extra land they get. They also have to watch Liberia, who's all of a sudden maybe a top 10 nation. Also, a Chinese warlord has been taken out. Japan has expanded even more into Japanese mainland. Do they have, oh, they have some Chinese cities. I don't, I don't know what they are doing over there. I don't want to know. Ooh, and the Soviets, with Lithuania's help, is attacking Norway. Norway has not called away. Does Norway even have their friends anymore? They don't because France is gone. They just have Ireland, and Ireland's not going to do anything. There's a big continental war in South America. Paraguay has been conquered, so is Uruguay. No, not great Tanutuva. This is going to be interesting. Tanutuva has a good amount. They're an okay economy. Also, they were distracted. Oh, we lost another nation in the Balkans. Bulgaria and Albania were conquered by Greece. Maybe Greece. Oh, Greece and Turkey what is this alliance? What is this curse? At least still survives. They're actually at war with Greece. Um, is the Soviet Union really going to get wiped out by Tanutuva? That would be the, the craziest joke of all time. I've never once seen that in my entire life. Their economy is still strong. Peace out. Peace out with them. Peace out with them. Technically, the USSR is still a lot stronger, but I don't think they were prepared for this, this fight. Nicaragua just established a core for 750. They're getting a bit bigger in Central America. And yes, somehow the Tanutuvans have peaced out with the USSR. How has this happened? Greece was uh, conquered now by Italy. So the Italians might be able to make a slight comeback here, or maybe not. Now Italy and Portugal are getting into it. Czechoslovakia was conquered by Austria. Austria is looking pretty strong. Oh, maybe that was the problem. Remember, this USSR was fighting a lot with Iran. Maybe they just wasted too much resources. They might get it now, though. Oh, and Norway, too. Okay, so I just think that it was maybe too much. We'll see if the Tanotubans attack again. Look at the uh, diplomatic map mode right here. Oh, an, a huge fall in Europe. Norway is now gone. Lithuania getting a lot of that. Actually, Latvia as well. They're both on the, they're all in the same squad. I guess they are. So there's like a Baltic-Soviet alliance happening. Is this going to be the fall of Portugal? Look at this huge coalition against Portugal. The Europeans are like, no, we cannot have this. Italy, Luxembourg, Switzerland, the UK, and Austria all fighting and somehow the UK just fell. This is Ireland's chance. Maybe they're going to be able to get a lot out of this. How is Portugal this strong? I don't understand. They're still pushing. They're still pushing these two. Um, with the fall of the UK, there's a ton of land now up for grabs. Also, Mexico is, I can confirm, they are pushing into the USA. So a lot of this is being eaten up by Nepal. Iran is still alive. They look wider, but they look thinner. Portugal is now the third strongest nation. Also, Switzerland has been conquered. Uh, Austria, don't forget about them. They're doing pretty good. At least still somehow holding on again. It's so hard to take them out right here. Here's another war. Wow, Portugal now just took out uh, the Netherlands. Or sorry, that was Luxembourg. So now it's a straight up war between Portugal and Austria. This is a battle for the interior of Europe. There's also another battle happening with Mexico. What Mexico needs is to grab the uh, 
Canadians and Cubans on their side. This is looking, I mean, here's the good thing for Austria. They're far away. Their capital is from the Portuguese. The problem is if they get backstabbed by the Soviet alliance. Oh, there it is. That's it. This is, the USA is done. The Mexicans have just joined the Cuban team with Canada. You guys are done, USA. They only have a really small teammates. Ooh, the Soviets have just completely crushed the Tano Tuvans. But wait a second. Maybe that was, a, it's a little bit too close to call. They were fighting the Mongolians as well. Tanutuva has a couple of warlords and Mongolia on their side. They still need more. Now, the alliances are capped at four. Wow, a lot of peace deals happening here. Austria has survived. Uh, they did lose, I think, some land to the Portuguese. Ethiopia is still holding on, and they're fighting Italy and Portugal at the same time. Ethiopia is still being that strong force in Africa. Australia looks like they might be struggling a bit, a little bit against New Zealand. Lots of cores popping up around the world. Austria is just friends with... With Ireland, but that is certainly not enough. Oh, well, yeah, that's definitely not enough. You are now completely surrounded. It's really going to be Portugal's only... They're the Oh, they're dead. It's only Portugal that's going to be able to stop the communists coming on into Europe. I'm going to assume they're all communists because Lithuania and Latvia have to be like junior partners. Look at this team. Even they've got Turkey on their side as well. Huge war for the USA. Look at that. And also, I think the US have lost most of their friends down here. We're talking just complete collapse. Love Ethiopia. They're still going. Ethiopia is still still fighting. Oh, the Japanese are finally doing stuff. Um, I don't know when the, uh, like the China that ended up escaping to Taiwan, I don't know when they died. Also, the communist Chinese are dead as well. There's now just five nations remaining in South America, but I mean, it's mainly just everyone versus Argentina. Interesting, Portugal and Italy now are allied. Now the USSR are going after Iran and Nepal. Nepal's acting like this nation's India, this world's India. Statistically speaking, Canada is actually catching up to the USSR because, uh, the, well, it's actually surprising. They they didn't get much that that much land up here. It's mainly Mexico and Cuba that's pushing in the south. Look at this green alliance. They almost have a complete stranglehold over all of Africa. These are some really fascinating teams happening around the world. Right now, Portugal is fighting Latvia alone. It's just Latvia. This is your chance to really knock out a big Soviet partner. Meanwhile, the Soviets are dealing with a lot of chaos, of course, in Asia. This is going to be their downfall. This is their one kryptonite because you know they're focused mostly here and down here. They might underestimate the, but the, you need probably Japan's help too. And Japan is actually getting kicked out of mainland China. Look at Portugal and Italy go. They're, they're actually, oh my goodness, Turkey just barely survived. No, Turkey died actually. Uh, Latvia lives to see another day, but Lithuania, they, this is a huge loss for the communists. Italy saw their chance and they took it. Again, the Soviets were pretty distracted back in Asia. Look at all this green now. It's Portugal and Italy just going crazy. Again, they have the Liberians help back at home. Oh, now, uh oh, uh oh, whoa, you pieced out at the right time. Italy looked like they were going to collapse. Oh, and maybe they will now. Italy's hard to collapse though. We'll see. I, uh, maybe I, I spoke to, they're, they're literally in Rome. They're in Rome. Okay, never mind. Well, they got really mad that they took out their friend, I guess, Turkey. Japan is now involved. USSR is fighting a lot of foes right now. Also, is Mexico really about to, Mexico just collapsed to Nicaragua. I guess we will not see the fall of the USA. Also, Cuba is looking like they're going to collapse. The USA is still going. Somehow, they're still squeezing out. They're in fourth place. Liberia has actually abandoned the pact with Portugal. They see the writing on the wall. They're like, we don't want to be friends. They're dead. Also, Iran looks like they're about to conquer Nepal or India. Ireland randomly joining the Nicaraguan pact. We actually have Canada and the USSR fighting. They're fighting up here for North Pole lands. Brazil and Liberia just joined the Iraq pact. I didn't think I'd say that ever. Uh, Brazil wait a second, what happened to, uh, there's so much green, why are all the green nations doing so good, Brazil just took out Liberia, so Saudi Arabia pushing in, is, is it gonna be, wow, I thought it was gonna be Saudi Arabia of all people to finally take out the Ethiopians, please, I just want you to wipe out the green nations, the green nations are, are ridiculous right now, it's Latvia too that's green, if you're green, you're doing good, even Ireland, love how Tanutuva is still such a huge thorn in the USSR side, Saudi Arabia also becoming kind of an issue for the USSR, Brazil's looking really big down here, they also have a lot of the Caribbean, and the US have just taken out the Canadians, which means the U.S. will probably be very close to the USSR size. Hey, Portugal has a chance here. They were pushing the Baltic states back. Ireland looking very big, and they're allied to the USA. Now the USA is going to be cut off. Oh, maybe not, because they're actually island hopping down to Brazil. Oh, man, Argentina is really loving this. I didn't even know. I think the yeah the USA and Argentinians are allied. Japan has just fallen. Yunnan is now the warlord in control of most of East Asia. They also have a large part of India. Ethiopia is finally gone. Did the Lithuanians just backstab the USSR? Yes, they did. 
did. They even took the capital. Where's the new USSR capital is currently in Afghanistan. Okay, so the USSR is still really strong. Uh, what happened here? The US is second. This is the time to strike while the USSR is kind of down. The problem is these neighbors, they're not looking that great. Oh, Lithuania is actually really powerful. This was huge that they backstabbed them. Lithuania get oh my goodness. Are they, do you have help? Lithuania with a huge explosion. The problem is back at home. Is Ireland going to backstab them? Oh, there goes the fall of Tanutuva. Well, at least it wasn't the Soviets that did it. Yeah, Lithuania literally backstabbed the Soviets. They, they are on Portugal and Italy's side now, which actually I think Italy's dead. Brazil's still holding their own. They were able to push the US a lot out of South America. Not completely. Ooh, yeah, see, Ireland is now causing problems for Lithuania, and uh, there are some interesting things happening for the... Wow, a lot of wars are happening. Another Chinese warlord getting a lot of extra land. The capital is still banished to Afghanistan for the Soviets. Stalinstan, is that the city name? I would really like that if it was. Wow, look at this split of Greenland. This is weird, but also kind of beautiful. Is Brazil going to take out Argentina? That would be huge for them because they don't have to fight a two-front war. The Soviets have fallen to second place. Actually, Brazil was very close to passing them up too. This is going to be a huge race for these four right here. And the fall of Lithuania, huge. It was done by Latvia as well. The problem is that Latvia is still allied to the Soviets, so maybe the Soviets can make a slight comeback here. Can they take out Portugal though? There's a peace deal. Portugal's got some friends. Portugal's got Brazil and Saudi Arabia. Wait a second. Uh, this is all Portuguese lands. Portugal is huge right now. Again, the green nation still controlling a lot of the middle. I don't know how Australia is still alive, but they're beginning to fall to New Zealand. The problem is Portugal is probably going to backstab, uh, or the USA is going to backstab Portugal, maybe. Boom, the fall of Australia has occurred. New Zealand got a lot out of this. Oh no. Oh no. Portugal, you're you're literally losing uh, Iberia. Oh, the USA and the Soviets are now fighting each other. Lots of wars happening here. All over. This is a definitely world war, that's for sure. They're fighting in Greenland mostly. USSR back on top. We are, we're, we're down to our like top 10 nations. Because Latvia took over Moscow, they're still, their capital's still down here. Portugal's alive, but just barely. They probably won't get killed. They're just going to have to move their capital as well into Africa. Oh, wait a second. Portugal, they regained Iberia. Now there's a peace deal. <gasps> the Soviets have just fallen. I don't even know how that happened, really. Who took that over? Was it Portugal? They went through the Middle East and probably took it out. That is massive. I did not think they would. That was the biggest nation. Now, Portugal is number one. USA is number two. Still a lot of fighting happening in the Americas. Brazil has not been able to take out Argentina just yet. Oh, Brazil is now fighting three different nations. Why did you backstab Portugal? I guess Portugal was just too powerful. Is this the death of Portugal? Technically, don't leave out Latvia. Latvia is really strong here in Europe. Oh, I said that, but maybe that was a little bit too soon. Can someone finally get to that capital? No, I think there's going to be a peace deal here. Portugal really wants this continent. And now these two Chinese warlords are fighting for everything over this way. New Zealand still stands. There it is. USA and Portugal now fighting. And USA is really close to Lisbon. Oh, there it is. Boom. Whoa. Portugal turned it on right here. Portugal is... They wiped out the Latvians. They're also taking a large part here. The thing is, Portugal... It, it's it, You could kill Portugal. It's not like... I don't think it's impossible. Now, even Brazil's going after Portugal. Uh, everyone's going after Brazil, but they peaced out. America has perfect control over all of North America. It's just the USA that has a chance of catching up to Portugal. The thing is, Portugal's in the middle of the map that's going to make things really hard for them. Oh, but they're finding enemies to expand. Oh yeah, they've got they've got huge help here. Portugal joined the Order of the United States. How is that fair? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a crazy... There's just two teams left. There's two factions. It's Portugal and the USA versus everybody. And those are the top two nations, really. Uh, Well, Argentina's on their side, too. They're really just doing this to kick, get rid of Brazil, I think, because Brazil has just not gone down. It's been 2,500 years. Brazil's pushing uh, Argentina out, but they're not pushing the U.S. and Portugal. Also, oh, these are the three that are fighting everybody. They're, oh man, it is a uphill battle, that's for sure. Well, Japan just died, so these are the teams, weirdly. Portugal is actually losing land here. They're fighting so many different fronts. Can you get rid of somebody, though? Can you get rid of Brazil? Uh, is this finally going to happen? Brazil is finally dead. Is Wait, are they? They're, oh, the thing is their capital is way back here. That's the problem. Oh my goodness. Finally, Brazil has collapsed. Now, is it too late though? Look at this blue alliance. Now they can send all of their forces out this way, but is the U.S. going to want to continue to help Portugal? That's the question. Because if I was them, I'd probably backstab around now. This Chinese warlord is looking awfully weak. They're very close to zero. Ooh, look at this. Argentina actually joined that Chinese warlord and New Zealand, and that might be the death of them. Oh, U.S. also backstabbed Portugal. This is what I'm saying. This was not the position that you want to be in. Portugal has zero friends right now. Oh, now the USA wanted to join back with Portugal. I see how it is. That's evil. Let's not forget about New Zealand, too. New Zealand has a chance here, although I, I forgot 
forgot that they were able to get to continental Australia. But this capital all the way in the corner it keeps them real safe. The USA that is now distracted in South America. So that's actually keeping Portugal super safe back at home. They can really focus their efforts on taking out Asia. Ooh, interesting. New Zealand... Oh, New Zealand did leave that old faction. Are they fighting? Are you guys fighting? What, what is going on here? I can't even really tell. I guess they are fighting, but they're also part of a team. There's actually no alliances right now. It's just Portugal and New Zealand, weirdly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so now we have the USA. Uh, the USA actually did finally take out Argentina. It is about time. So there's fighting two different fronts. You need... Oh, man, Portugal needs New, New Zealand's help down here. Oh, can they wipe them out finally? They took the capital. They finally took one capital. There's still a lot of points still that they have to take out. Also, Portugal is for... Ooh, USA is really strong. The USA might be... USA is actually... You know the strongest nation right now is actually New Zealand. They have the least amount of land, though. Is New Zealand just doing this to backstab Portugal? I don't really know. There's constant wars here. This is. There's four nations left. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. New Zealand is getting a ton... Of, it's. It, is this over? It might be over, especially if Portugal declares war right now. They didn't declare war. Portugal's really distracted. Oh, Portugal's kind of freaking out because... The U.S. is very close to Lisbon. Oh, Portugal has no points left. This is going to be it. You have to take them out right now. Oh, no. Portugal is going to die. They are going to die. At the hands of the USA. Oh, did they? Oh, they still haven't taken them out yet. The thing is, New Zealand's helping them out a ton. Can they survive long enough? Can they just keep the USA away for long enough for them to take out the final Chinese warlord? Oh, no way. New Zealand just abandoned. They abandoned a pact. Now New Zealand is fighting Portugal. Finally, this nation is gone. It is about time. And there is three left. And Portugal is completely by themselves. Portugal is still number one the number one nation right now and this might be it right here so let's see where their uh capital moves to it has now been pushed back to uh wait a second oh the thing is portugal has pushed new zealand really far back oh wow it's down here in south africa that's a pretty good spot i think oh they really have to take out new zealand new zealand's at zero though they might be able to do it and the slow depressing portugal collapse has begun the usa is just so far ahead in terms of territory now they've now moved their capital in the middle of saudi arabia ouch that hurts portugal played such a good game and the u.s has taken over and big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I forgot to kidnap you. Next date is March 19th, 2023 at 6 Boy, do I love Arby's. Drew's Eritrean grandma. Portugal is not Drew's Balkans. Argentinian $20 grandpa. dollars is a lot, Drew. A fat Norwalk. Brighton is the Caleb best. Caleb H. Drew's and good old Ryan. Jack Traven's annoying John friend. John Denver loves and business. Robert Quinn Taylor. Ryan, the, the Weekend. The, the Great Commonwealth. The Wicked Hamsters. Carmel S. And Zany Boy.